This video is brought to you by Squarespace. Whether you need a domain, website, or online store, make it happen with Squarespace. Hey guys, in today's video, we're going to be making some rings out of blue jeans here. And so what we'll do, we'll use our special mold that we used a few weeks back. We're gonna cut this up into a bunch of different pieces that'll fit that mold accordingly, and then infuse the whole thing with resin. Let's get started. So there's not a lot of technique to this first step. I've got this piece of paper towel that I cut out to the shape of my mold, and then I'm cutting out the denim to be that shape. That way it'll fit in the mold perfectly. And as far as quantity goes, I just cut out enough rectangles so that it stood about an inch high when it was just laying flat on the table. And then once I put it in my compression mold, and I'm going to show you more about that in a second, um, I was able to squeeze it down to just under a half an inch thick. So that's good to know for me in the future, or if you're trying this at home, just know that your material, if it's a fabric, it's probably going to shrink once you compress it to be about half the thickness of what it will be if it's just naturally sitting on a table stacked. Now the process of casting this into a piece of workable material with resin is a little bit different from what I typically do on materials. I'm going to be mixing together two halves of resin like I normally do, but I've got this custom mold that I made here, and this is a compression mold. I perforated the top or the kind of the lid for this, and so what I can do is I can pour in the resin layer by layer and then add the denim pieces, get it completely soaked with the resin, and then I use clamps to force the uh, custom top down and that will allow the resin to squeeze through it. And so we'll get rid of any of that excess resin. So our end result will be a block that's mostly denim, but it has just enough resin to make sure the whole thing holds together. And then to cut out our ring blank, I just used these diamond coated hole saws. And this was a little bit tricky. I had to use a lot of water in order to stop this from overheating. And obviously I don't want it to overheat because our resin can burn and that'll cause the ring to fall apart. But eventually I was able to get the blank cut out and now we're ready to switch over to the lathe. I'm going to clean this up and then we can start doing some of the sizing, sanding, and other finishing steps. The machining of the ring was fairly straightforward. Obviously it's made out of denim, so it's not the most robust of materials. And so I was fairly careful to not go too hard with any of my tools. Um, and you'll see me using some ultra thin CA adhesive throughout the process. That's able to soak into the denim fibers a little bit better than the resin was able to. And that not only makes the ring stronger, it also really helps bring out the color. Now just quickly, I wanted to thank Squarespace for sponsoring today's video and tell you a little bit more about them. The reason I like having sponsors so much is because they allow me so much more freedom in terms of what I'm making in the video. And you likely already know this if you follow me on Instagram, but I'm working on several projects right now that are a lot more complicated. They take a lot of film days, they have a higher budget, and they take so much more work than just the normal typical rings. And sponsors are what make that all possible. So thank you guys for supporting my sponsors who in turn support me. So Squarespace is a perfect website for people like me. It seriously is one of the simplest ways to make an online store or just any website for that matter. They have a very streamlined process for making your website. So you'll start out with a template and they have a big selection of those. And they came out with eight new ones in 2018 alone. Squarespace is an all-in-one platform. That means you won't have to work with multiple websites to make everything compatible with each other. There's nothing to install, patch, or upgrade ever. On top of that, they also have a domain management system. This is really handy because if you got your domain from another source, you can still manage it with Squarespace. And to top it all off, they have 24 seven award-winning customer service that's always there if you have any questions. So head to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash Patrick Adair to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Now let's get back to the ring making. Once I've got the ring to size, I go ahead and round the inside edges. That way it's really comfortable to wear. And then I sand it all the way up to about an 800 grit. I didn't have to go super high on this material because it was a lot more forgiving than some of the others are in terms of showing scratches. So once I got up to that grit, that's when I put on the CA coating. And then I'll just quickly repeat those same steps to the outside, just sand it up to a nice high grit, and then put on that CA finish. 
and then this ring is totally done. So that's the ring guys. I think this one had a really interesting look to it. You can just see that cross section of the fabric pattern that the denim has to it. And I really like that. It's not just a boring blue looking ring that we made the same color as blue jeans. It literally is blue jeans. It looks like blue jeans. It's got the same woven pattern to it, all of that. It's a really fun material to look at and I think it especially works well for a ring in this instance and just all the micro detail that it has. So the closer you look, the more interesting it gets. That's always just a winning combination in my opinion for a ring. I love rings that are fairly subtle, but when you give them a closer look, they've got a lot of detail, a lot of work and time put into them that make them something that's just a lot more special than, for example, a blue plastic ring. So thank you guys so much for watching this week's video. It's always fun to post the results of the ring that I've been working on throughout the week and I love hearing back from you guys to see what you guys like and I love hearing your guys' suggestions, your video ideas, all of that. So if you have any of those, leave them down in the comments below. If you wanna follow me on my Instagram, anywhere else like that, I've got links to that down in the description. And then of course, as always, I've got my ring website where you can purchase any of the rings that I sell. And then I also have my ring supplies website. And so that's if you're interested in getting into ring making yourself. I've got a bunch of the tools and materials that'll help you get started. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next week.